What's up guys? Thanks for checking out the channel, watching the video. Today we are making a pie. We are in the Funko room, one of our Funko rooms. They're taking over the house. I'm just saying, Mike's probably has a little obsession with this. I did for a while, kind of over it now, but we have a lot of Funkos. And actually a guy from work went on, went on vacation and made a personalized Funko for me, which is amazing. Looks just like me, it's so awesome. Anyway, thanks Josh. Um, anyway guys, this is a recipe that my mom made. And, where she was from, they had it all over the place, but we moved to Louisiana and not many people had heard of it. And you still tell people and they're like, mm, what is that? It's a homemade butterscotch pie. Now this is a pie that has a pre-baked pie shell. I'll make sure I put the link to the pie shell. You're gonna put a homemade butterscotch pudding in it with meringue and then you bake it and brown off the tips of the meringue. It is delicious. It's really a good pie, guys. That's the recipe for this week. Um, excuse the voice, I had a little bit of a cold going on, so you're kind of hearing a noise voice down the road there. Um, anyway, guys, if you're not subscribers, take a second right now, hit that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. It means a lot to the in the YouTube world for people, we, or otherwise we wouldn't be talking about it all the time. But anyway, hit the subscribe button, guys. Here comes the recipe for Southern Butterscotch Pie. So, in a saucepan, we're gonna put two cups of whole milk. Don't use soy milk for this, just use whole milk. I think you're gonna see a difference that you need to see. We're gonna put in one cup of brown sugar. This is light brown sugar, not dark brown. Dark brown's a little too intense for it. Now in another bowl, I have three egg yolks. Now I've saved the egg whites. We're gonna use that for the meringue. We're just gonna mix that up, break those yolks up a little bit and put that in. Okay. And we're going to ask, also add in one fourth of a cup of cornstarch. Okay. Well, all right. After the cornstarch, we're going to put in one teaspoon of salt. That's our base. That is the pudding filling that we're going to have. Okay. And we haven't turned our eye on yet, so we're going to take a whisk and just kind of mix this together really well. We're going to turn our eye on at about medium high. Slowly bring this up to temperature and it will thicken. So we're not going to sit here and watch this, but I have it on medium high. Again, about five minutes or so, it should start to thicken. All right, it's been a little over five minutes. It's beginning to thicken a little bit. Steam's coming out of the top. Once it starts thickening, it really doesn't take long. We're definitely going to get it a thicken. The cornstarch is beginning to do what it's supposed to do. Remember, stir, stir, stir. Do not let this set. Okay. Definitely thickening now. I'm going to kill the heat on this because we are done. See, thickens beautifully. You kind of want a thick pudding is where we're at. Pull it off the heat. Now, to this, we're going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla ish. And three tablespoons of butter. I'll just slap that in there. Then. And we just want to stir this until the butter melts. Which doesn't take long.
All right, the butter is incorporated. Well, there's a little bit left. We'll take a lot. Come on, last little piece. Okay, we are done with the whisk. I'm gonna go back to this guy, and make sure it's nice. Now, if you're seeing lumps or anything like that, you can definitely run that through a sieve but we are not gonna do that. Now our pie shell, we've blind baked this. I've included the link to the pie pastry. We baked this blind with some red beans inside to keep it pressed down at the bottom for about 15 minutes at I think 425. So we're gonna take our filling and that's gonna be poured right in the pre-baked shell. Let's move that out. All right. Now we're ready for the meringue. All right, guys, in our bowl, we're gonna put our egg whites. We're gonna to add to that a teaspoon of cream of tartar, which this is actually a half a teaspoon, so two of those. Now we're gonna beat this until it has stiff peaks. Now once this gets to a stiff peak stage, we're gonna slowly incorporate a fourth of a cup of white sugar. sugar in. We have our oven on 350. So we have our butterscotch pie. I forgot to tell y'all, when you pour the pie filling in, cover it with a piece of plastic wrap like that, or you will get a skin on the pudding and you don't want that. Make sure everything's scraped down nice. I'm gonna use a spoon for this. I think it's prettier and easier. So we're just gonna push this all the way to the edge. You could certainly pipe this if you want to. But we never did, so I'm not today. Okay. Now this way, with a rocking motion like that, just kind of spread it out. Now, we want to pull tops, because you want these peaks. So just pull up. These are what's going to brown, and give you little tips. Oh, there's the oven, it's hot. This is going to cook for about 10 minutes until it is nicely brown. You get brown tips on the top. 
So this will go in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350 or until this top is golden brown. Keep an eye on it too. All right, guys, so we have just cut a piece and this is what the pie looks like on the inside. Of course, I always damage the first piece when I pull it out, but anyway, guys, let's give it a taste. Okay, smell. Smell the egg whites from the meringue and the pastry underneath. And this is what the pie looks like. I don't know if you can get it to focus. There we go. So good. Very delicate. What's really good about it is the butterscotch, the sugary part, soaks into the crust. It makes the crust really sweet. And just a really wonderful flavor. Mmm. That so takes me back. Delicious pie, guys. That is a homemade, let's see if you can show it on the picture of it. Homemade butterscotch pie. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys are not followers or haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit, hit me. I'm poking you with a fork. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as watchers or subscribers or whatever they call it in, in uh, YouTube world. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Have a great week. Be safe out there, but remember, be kind to each other. Mm -hmm.